let's check our answers for the quiz one review. Um, for one and two, we're talking about finding the greatest common factor. So in number one, we had to find the greatest common factor of 50 and 40. If you did a list, you probably listed out all of these factors here and um, found 10 was the greatest. And if you did a factor tree, um, you got down to these prime factors and they had two and five in common. So two times five is 10. So the answer to number one is 10, which would have been C. For number two, um, we had a store is organizing tools into bins. The bins must be organized so each bin has the same number of tools without mixing the tools. What's the greatest number of tools that can be put into a bin if there are 14 hammers, 56 screwdrivers, and 63 wrenches? Here's that key that we're doing greatest common factor. What's the greatest number of tools? So we have 14, 56, and um, 63. Here's my list with the factors in there. And here are my factor trees. They all had seven in common and that was the only factor they had in common. So seven is the greatest common factor. For learning objective B, we're finding the least common multiple. Oh, by the way, seven would have been B. Um, number three here, we needed to find the least common multiple of eight and 12. So here are my multiples of eight, 16, 24, and multiples of 12. 24 is the smallest one. Here are my factor trees. They had two twos in common, so I put those here. And then we also had to bring down the two and the three. So two times two is four, four times two is eight, eight times three is 24. And then this one here, Thomas gets a lot of email each day. He gets one about fishing every four days, one about sports every five days, and one about food every six days. If he got all three types of emails today, how many more days will it be until he gets all three types of emails on the same day again? So I took those three numbers and I'm trying to find the least common multiple because it's how many more days until he gets them all on the same day again. Those are my keywords. So this was way easier to do the tree because look at all the multiples I had to list out for four, that was the worst, and five and six. 60 was the least common multiple. Or here, the factors of four, two times two are prime, five is already prime, two times three is six, so they had two in common. And then you had another two, five, and three. So two times two is four, four times five is 20, 20 times three is 60. Moving on to writing ratios in simplest form, we had baseballs to basketballs. So when you count them up, you have six baseballs to 10 basketballs, and you need to divide by the greatest common factor because you can't just divide both by six. So um, the greatest common factor of six and 10, I did a tree here, is two. Whatever you do to the numerator, you have to do to the denominator. So six divided by two is three, 10 divided by two is five, three-fifths is our ratio. And for number six, we had this table here showing tide pool animals. Write the ratio in simplest form. So the ratio of snails to total animals. So there were 18 snails and you had to add these up to get the total. So snails to total, 18 snails. I added them all up to get 52 total. Then I had to find the greatest common factor to divide by. I used the tree. They both had two in common. So 18 divided by two is nine, 15 divided by two is 26. So it's a ratio of nine to 26, which would have been right here, um, letter A. All right, um, get help if you still have questions on any of these.